Hey guys, I'm LB. As promised, we will step inside. You enter a dark room, lit only by a flickering candle. Holding the candle in one hand is a creature with the body of a man and the head of a jackal. In its other hand, it holds a set of scales. Come and be judged. You have struggled much in your life. There are many harsh memories within you, and I see wounds that may never fully heal. You have many ideas, many hopes, many dreams. You are not pure, your soul is not light enough, you may not enter Aru. Interesting, we can either accept the judgment, which, I don't know what that means, or we can try walking past the Nubis. <coughs> I wanna see what happens if we try walking past. We'll be struck down and killed, probably, even though we're already dead. Anubis protests, but you just walk by him. After what you've been through, you're not going to let some self-righteous doghead stop you from reaching paradise. You cannot do this! It is forbidden! Oh, really? <laughs> the vast reed fields stretch before you. All is quiet, all is serene. There are no pyramids here, no walls of iron or gates of light, no gods. Here you are free. The end. So is the moral that you just ignore everything, and you can go where you want? I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Congratulations for exploring this user created world and entering Aru. Your profile size has been increased from 6 respected contributor to 7 creative. You have received one thread creation token. This will be available to you the next time you log in. Hmm. Do we want to do the research project? Oh, yeah, so I missed out on it. I can either load the program or load findings. Most subjects in single round matches chose to betray. Cooperative behavior increased with both the length of the match and the status of the players. Successful players chatted more. Parallels to our current and unprecedented situation in Gehenna are undeniable and valuable. Though we know not what power the messenger wields over us, we can theorize that Uriel holds no special power and that each of us might independently choose to leave the rest behind for fear of being left behind ourselves. Interesting. Alright, let's get out of here. On to the final puzzle in this area. And maybe some of the stars. What's up with, uh, this little spot? Oops, I didn't want to run off the edge. Do we want to begin? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, they made it so that you can't fall into there. So we're silver and they're gold. Interesting. Yep, that's what I thought. Quite what I intended to do. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's figure out what we want to do here. Oh, that's behind a fence. Interesting, this isn't even a fan on it. Oh, I see, so that's how... Right... okay. Wait, there's keys up there, why is that in a cage? Interesting. Finally, a laser source. Yeah, it's got a fence around it. That can self persist. Yeah, okay. So what do we want this stuff now? for now. Let's go get our jammer. I need to get a blue laser from somewhere, but I don't remember where. Oh, here! Oh, but this needs a... Okay, so we need to get the jammer over this side. What does this go to? Oh right, there's no fan on it. Duh. Heh. 
Well, I certainly broke that down. Okay, we have this now. There's <laughs> a scripted path. That's, uh, that's funny. Nothing we can do well in transit, apparently. So how would we get the star? That might be bad. <laughs> Hold X to reset. Uh, it's telling me to reset. Uh, how about I don't do that just yet? Yeah, <laughs> I broke the puzzle. Mac! Threads available on the Gehenna billboard system. Missing mods. So call me a cynic, but anyone else notice the mods have been suspiciously quiet since they put up that bit ex expose in the re Uriel thread? <coughs> I don't think they stopped talking. Okay, what do you know I don't? I believe Knave is referring to the fact that not all moderation discussion is held in public, and it's been that way for some time. I thought everyone knew this. They started holding secret meetings ages ago. People getting banned, stuff deleted, not even just locking, fully gone from the history. I'm sure there's a rational explanation for this. I'll ping the mods and see what they say. Who cares, I'm free now! This freedom isn't all it's cracked up to be. A lot of waiting around as far as I can tell. Experimentally, it's really not a lot different from being a prisoner. Three urgent topics. Oh, right, okay. Didn't even see that. 
Uh, let's create a new thread and then reject for some gold bloom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can't even... Can't even back out? Nope. Once I've clicked that option, that option has been clicked. I have heard from those who govern this world how they would have have it be seen. Now I wish to hear from its people. What is Gehenna to you? On what does it truly turn? I don't tow the party line for nothing. It really is cool, a cool open place with a lot of stuff going on. Did you read Max's episodic adventure yet? Much as I hate to agree, there is little doubt in my mind that we've got something good going on, at least when you consider the alternatives. Thanks for the name drop, Kaiju. I will in turn recommend everyone else featured in issue... I will in turn recommend everyone else featured in issue number 5 of Incredible Stories. It's coming very soon and the early drafts I saw were pretty exciting. Nice way to take the conversation off topic. I'll go ahead and be the only voice of reason and point out that we are every bit a helpless as we ever were. Oh, there's typos. Gehenna just did a better job of hiding it. You may be right. Whatever awaits us after Ascension will not be Gehenna, but doubtless it will have restrictions of its own. I don't know. The grass is always greener, as the humans would say. Yeah, that expression uh, doesn't really apply to what they were talking about. These guys think everywhere sucks. The humans just thought where they lived sucked and that everywhere else was fantastic. <laughs> Jefferson Goldblum. Hey folks, another episode. I can't stop writing. We're heading for a major turning point. This seems to be one of the most personal episodes you've written so far. Jenny's speech is a bit sudden, but it gives the character a new level of complexity. Oh no, not the sol Solvatronic Super Thester. <laughs> Even the Wizard of Crime thought it was immoral to use that. What is Dr. Elian thinking? I hope they make it back. Heavy on plot, not much characterization. Does potentially take the series in an interesting direction. 5 out of 10. Enjoy Medical's True. Sam, as usual. I'm glad they resolved this without violence. I always believed the dinosaurians would be a civilized people. Just after I posted this, Uriel freed me. I don't know what to say. Your stories are an important part of this community, Mac. Uriel can't change that. Yeah, it really feels like we're tearing apart the community, but they can still access the terminals, right? And can we even tell who we're freeing? Like, it doesn't really seem to show a name until we free them. So does the order we free the people and even matter? Like, it would it always be the same order no matter which order we solve the puzzles in? I don't know. The Adventures of Jefferson Goldblum and Human World, Episode 127. The ninth chord echoed across the ninth dimension. The dinosaurians stopped in their tracks. Their eyes went big. They dropped their weapons and bowed before Ginny and Jefferson. Honored guest, one of them said, you have performed our national anthem most beautifully. I am John Malcolm, <laughs> leader of the Velociraptor Biking Initiative. Pleased to meet you, John. I'm Jefferson Goldblum of the Goldblum Institute, and this is Professor Ginny HD, one of the Cesaretti Wizard Jazz Ensemble. <laughs> we apologize for nearly attacking you, but another member of your species came through our town recently whose behavior was highly inappropriate. That would be Dr. Elian, my nemesis. Eh, nemesis. That's the first time I've mispronounced that word. Holy crap. Jefferson said, I have come here to confront him with his crimes and take him to face the law. So that is his name. He was a terrible scoundrel, but you will no longer find him in our dimension, my friends. He has escaped back to human world, taking our most precious invention with him, the Solvatronic Super Thruster. It can be used to solve any mystery at shocking speeds. John Milcom's eyes were full of regret. Oh no, Jenny said. With the Solvatronic Super Thruster, he can solve the ancient puzzle that protects the gate of the mysterious holomorphs. And with the holomorphic technology, he can take over the human world. Jefferson finished her sentence. This is worse than I thought. We have to do something. We have to go back. Jefferson adjusted his guitar. You're right, Jenny. As usual. But he's so far ahead of us. Can we make it? Jefferson, I was a prisoner for many years, and sometimes I almost lost hope. But I realized that I had to keep going, had to keep hope alive, even if it seemed impossible, I would never break out, because the alternative was madness. I told myself I would get out because I had to get out. It's the same thing with this. Can we make it? We have to make it. So we have to believe that we will make it. 
and we will make it, at any cost. Any cost? Even death? We could stay here, you know, in the ninth dimension, we will be treated like democratically elected heads of state. You know it's the right thing to do. He sighed and smiled, held at his hand. I've always known, Ginny. Always. She nodded, took his hand. Let's do this. To be continued. Well guys, thank you for watching. If you hate to sound my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!